For example, how is the price of Bitcoin units determined? How is the price of anything determined? It's the, we take the price that the last deal happened. Let's say in, a, in an exchange, the last deal was uh, somebody bought 100 Bitcoins for $600 and we, we take that as a given. So the last exchange that, was, that, was, that happened, we take that as a price. But uh, how is it determined? It's, um, it's a new financial instrument. You cannot, how do you value it? It's very interesting. Right now, um, all, the, all the Bitcoins that exist, which is about 12 and a half million times the price, equals about $7 billion market cap. And $7 billion market cap is nothing in the financial world. It's something very small. As a comparison, WhatsApp, you probably know, was sold a, a few weeks ago for 19 billion. The US debt, the debt of the US government is 17 trillion. This is 17,000 billion. So the size of something which is seven and a half, is, it's extremely small, it's, it's tiny. Mm. For example, the, uh, the gold market, the market cap of gold is about seven trillion. That's 7,000 billion. It's again, a thousand times bigger than Bitcoin. So the price of each individual Bitcoin depends on how much the system is spread out and how much it's being used. It's, it depends on the adoption. So the more systems it replaces, the bigger the adoption, the more, uh, the more demand for it, and the higher the price. So right now the ecosystem is being developed very quickly and investors and all the participants in the market value one Bitcoin at about $600. Is it fair price? We don't know. Is it a good investment? Probably yes. Is it risky? Absolutely. You could lose everything if it could easily go down to zero if the, if the protocol is broken.